now. Let's say, so we'll just stop. I feel like we should stop saying that. I feel like Snow, he's DFW. Snow, he's our DFW Fox. Probably, the I would say, the second best Fox win we have currently. Oh, yeah. Compared uh, to Jason, though. Yeah, compared to Jason. He also plays a little bit of Lucina, as we're seeing. Oh, yeah. He's, his Lucina is probably the best one we got here. As in anybody who really plays Lucina. And, of course, we're going to see the green Lucina. Everybody just plays this color now. And now I'm pretty sure it's become popular because of Nairo, of course, at uh, the Abadango Saga. I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like this is, like, one of the worst colors for her. Yeah, this is probably one of, I would say, I would not deny that this would probably be one of her bad ones. I, I mean, so, the green hair is cool, but, like, all the other stuff is just, she's, she, she meshing. Oh, yeah. But can nothing. we also talk about how bad this matchup is for Ness, though? Well, tell me why. Because, well, one, he has to try to make it in with Sword. And, of course, Swordsman like Mark and Lucida, of course, can just really wall you out with so many jabs. And then, of course, off stage, if Snow gets Austin to a point to where he has no jump, he can just run off and counter Ness, and he is dead. Yes. There is no coming back. It's similar to what we saw earlier in that Chucky versus Jason. Wow, the forwarder was Snow completely DIing to the right? I'm not sure. I think he was trying to DI up, but instead he ended up DNI up and what? I feel like that shouldn't have killed in any regard, but it did. Austin now out of lead snow, trying to find that stock. We're probably going to see the Esgard play be very important. As you touched oh, no. on, oh, no. while Austin no. trying to go for something big, not getting the PK fire, Snow will recover, but he needs to be careful off the ledge, and Snow needs to get that stock soon. His percents are rising. Austin is looking for the blood. He's getting close to up throw percentage, though. I will say that. Just maybe like uh, 20, maybe 25 more percent, and uh, he's definitely an up throw rage. He's done a really good job of getting around the PK Thunders and getting himself back to the stage. He hasn't really allowed Austin to get too much while he's off the stage, but Snow hasn't really got much either. Uh, like you said, that up throw is going to be a big factor soon. Probably now if he's able to get one, but Austin doesn't seem like he wants to let him. I don't think he's going to kill just yet. Maybe. Oh, well, nice force kill, smash. That'll definitely kill, though. So uh, no up throw needed, just one force smash. Okay, but he's still sitting at 99%, now 100 He's getting to those back throw Ooh, watch your Wow, shield. and that almost took out Austin's shield. Whoa, watch your shield. Just please watch your shield, Austin. All right. Austin not re really realizing that he has such a huge lead. He's playing more of the aggressor when he can just kind of sit back, but that is Austin's play style. He's going to go. He's going to play you upright, and I feel like Snow oh is goodness. abusing that. He's abusing it so much right now, getting so much percent. Now, what I'm seeing him do with Lucia is that what he's doing is a little bit – I'm considering it Ooh. a trap because what it basically is is that <laughs> – Lucina will force. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. He, oh, my goodness. He didn't throw out the air dodge. Austin was like, you're not going to throw out the air dodge. I'm just going to up air you. Just uh, get this set over with. Actually, get this game over with. This isn't the set yet. Yeah, absol absolutely insane. Great now, play from Austin. Now, uh, and a little bit of an ad adaptation from Snow towards the end, but I feel like he's going to stay with Lucina. I he, expected to switch to Fox. He definitely feels confident in Lucina, and I don't blame him. I'm not, is, is Fox bad for this? Is I don't know. I, I mean, I think what he's trying to figure out is like, okay, he has his fears versus Jason, of course. And then like, okay, so I don't know if Fox is going to work out. Yeah, I think the so, only thing that wasn't working for Snow that match was that he wasn't able to get those edge guards that we said were going to be so crucial and yeah. that was going to be big. No, it's good. Now, what I, now what I'm just showing about the last game was that uh, what – Snow tried to do was that he tried to do a little bit of a trap, oh. basically with the first, basically with the first hit of um, Dancing Blade. Actually, Jump Dancing Blade will actually hopefully oh create a, hopefully create an air dodge. He saved actually, him. Something going on right now. He saved him. Oh my gosh. I'll okay. Say, I'll save it. I'll save it a little bit. Oh my really gosh. Done. Austin is doing such a good job. He kept him on the left side, left side of the stage for like 30 seconds. Holy crap. Austin's Esgard game has been so on point. At least this last, like since the last game, since this one, Austin has been done, doing such a phenomenal job. And he's 52%, five minutes left on the clock. Snow working from a deficit once again. What? Oh man. Oh, Ooh, watch out. Super but smart I, there. I mean, this is Smash 4, so uh, weird things can happen. Weird things can happen. All right, 87% on Austin. Uh, oh. Snow hasn't been touched yet. He's looking for the stock, the up oh tilt, my or the neutral that air. That was a nice air dodge read. He, he hit him with the neutral air, and then, oh, and then gosh, good buffer. went below just to the air dodge, and of course he got it. 
Okay, not much you can do from a vertical angle. Yeah, this Snow hasn't been able to really contest that edge guard at all, but he's still able to get those stocks with now, another forward smash at that. That's been his his like savior in this entire set. He's been getting them so consistently. That I'm very sure is a confirmed because it's falling neutral in the forward smash. And with the falling neutral, it puts them into the air to where they they don't have enough time to reach the ground or air dodge. So it's basically like a guaranteed thing. Wow, that that PK fire Austin attempted off the stage barely missed that would have been so big for him but also has done such a good job of catching snow while he's in the air with this up air doing oh, so much damage stuck. taking so many stocks and snow has just not really found a safe way to recover back down that bird is saving him there so he's finally able to get back down but he needs to figure out how to get to the stage consistently and safely oh watch out definitely want to be careful about that because uh up there will definitely kill now oh, oh. oh not the just dog. yet the dog nearly helping Austin there, actually. Just for one little split second, the dog's gonna come up and say hi. Oh, Snow overextending. He's gonna get caught by that forward air. Now put it in an edge guard situation, but he's get back, he gets back onto the stage and he gets another lease on life and he puts himself in a much better position. Now, that back throw would definitely kill at the ledge, so Snow needs to be really careful about where he stands. Oh, or right and there. And he stood in the wrong place and he got thrown with, yep. uh, with the back throw. <laughs> uh, Good, good stuff from Austin. He did a really good job of controlling that set. Snow was just never able to get himself in those situations where he could punish Austin's recovery. And that was so big. That was so important. And that's what Snow needed uh, for that set. But he, it just didn't come to him. Yeah. Austin was ready for everything to come. He just knew. He adapted. He was like, okay, I'm ready to go.